What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Lothixie and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time for some brand new bubblegum simulator. Today, oh my goodness me, we are checking out update number 15 and of course we've had a Valentine's update. Um, well... <laughs> Today is the 15th of February when I'm playing this. So yeah, Valentine's Day was yesterday. Happy Valentine's, everyone. I hope you were good. Um, but yeah, there was like a little update event thing. Uh, and basically what has happened here is there's one cool thing that I really want to check out. But uh, that 100k egg, which I opened a bunch of, has now been replaced with a brand new event egg. This bad boy over here. It's called the Valentine's Egg. It's here for a week. And we have a load of brand new pets. Oh my goodness me. Um, so yeah, basically I did actually try and open up a few more of those 100k eggs. I was kind of hoping that somehow we might be able to fluke one of those robot pets. We didn't get one. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't open like a huge amount compared to like, you know, if you look at this leaderboard, it's mad, mad things. But I think I did like, uh, how many did I do? Probably about 35,000 eggs, something like that. Unfortunately, we didn't get one. We only actually got, well, we got two diamond overlords, which is pretty awesome. A whole bunch of these shiny serpents, which is just far too many shiny serpents. Uh, and yeah, nothing really much else. But anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to go and check out this new Valentine's egg. But look at this. This is a prize system that is introduced into the game. And basically, this works off eggs hatched. So I thought this was really cool, actually. Um, I haven't touched it just yet, but I thought we would claim these here today, uh, depending on how far we are. So, hatch 100 eggs. My inventory's full. Fantastic. All right, let's try that again. So, our first 100 eggs, we get ourselves a purple dragon thingy. Blue dragon. Uh, emerald golem. Ooh, is that a Dominus? Electra Dominus? I'm trying to remember all the names. There's so many pets in this game now. Electra. Yeah, okay. That wasn't too far off. Uh, what else have we got? Next one is... Ooh! What is that? A neon elemental. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, let me unequip all pets here. Oh, that's so cool. So are these like legendaries from different sets or something? So if I go to the index, do you see a neon uh, elemental? Or is this a brand new pet? I don't know. You see, the cool thing about some of these eggs is basically you can sort of like fill in the gaps for some like random ones that you didn't get the first time around. So this is why I quite like the reward islands. Um, is there any ele elemental? That's such a cool pet. Oh, I really like that. <laughs> okay, so it's not really one that we're going to be using because it doesn't have any block, which is kind of, you know, I'm sort of more focused on Toyland right now just because it's the latest update. That's a cool pet, man. Okay, so that was 10,000 eggs. 25,000 eggs is a... Oh! Okay, so you are getting legendaries that we've already got. This is a, a rainbow-winged hydra. We've got a couple of those. 50,000? Oh, that's a um, thingy. What's it called? We've got two of those now. A demonic hydra. I think we got one of those on the last reward island. What is this? Oh, it's a ducky. Okay, 75,000 is a ducky. We've got a bunch of duckies. And 100,000 is it a penguin. It's a penguin! Hey! Okay. Huh. Well, I think that's kind of nifty, isn't it? So, basically, if you are going to be opening lots and lots of eggs, you'll be able to uh, get yourself some extra pets. So, I think we'll actually equip that penguin, because why not? Let's go and equip our... Uh, oh, jeez. Okay, let me go and put my party back on. Okay, I think this is the best we can do for right now. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, let me go and get rid of one of these diamond over... No. <laughs> let me get rid of these diamond serpents. Let me go and put on our shiny duck. Boom. Okay. So I think this is the best party we can get right now. We've got three penguins. And we got some bits and pieces. So let's go and collect our eggs. Um, a chest even. Oh, yeah. This was so cool, man. This got me thinking. Like, So the kind of like the main dev dude of this game, uh, he's called Isaac. And I follow him on Twitter just to keep like up to date with updates and stuff and it was so funny because this update i think came out really really late so for uk time uh it was probably too late to make a video so i thought i'd wait until today um and it was funny i like read the tweet and it was like oh hey there is going to be a valentine's update and some also some new content but i can't put it up right now because i'm at school and 
I was like, oh my goodness me. <laughs> Sometimes you forget that like, especially with things like Roblox, but just sort of creation in general these days, people are getting like younger and younger whilst they're doing it. I think that's absolutely amazing. Like, it's so, so cool. I remember sort of my generation of growing up. I think about, I got my first mobile phone at like 13, I think. But this was like, it was a Nokia 3310. So it's basically, it's a bit of a meme these days. No, it was a 3330 actually. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit of a meme these days because basically it's like an indestructible phone and it never broke. But like there was no internet on it. Well, there was, but it, was, it wasn't really internet. There was no like mobile gaming or anything. You literally could phone people and you could send text messages and that was pretty much it. Uh, you could make ringtones on it though. But it was like 8-bit ones. It was cool. Uh, but yeah, like... I kind of didn't grow up with any of this stuff, but I kind of think, like, these days, people always complain, like, oh, kids today with their iPads and whatever, but I think it's an amazing thing because there's so much you can do, and it opens up so many possibilities for, like, creation. And, like, it doesn't matter, like, how old you are anymore. It, you know, if you, if you are interested in something, maybe, like, game development or artwork or music, whatever, there's so many amazing ways that you can do it for free. Uh, and I think that's so cool. So yeah, it just, I just thought that was kind of cool. I was like, oh my goodness me. I would have loved to have done this when I was like young. How cool would that be to like make video games and stuff? <gasps> yeah, I just, it got me thinking. I was like, wow, that's incredible. But yeah, there's like no pressure to, to be creative and stuff. You don't have to be any good at anything to enjoy it. Like I think I showed absolutely no interest in anything creative until I was like 14. And then I asked for a guitar for Christmas. And since then, like... I'm not the best guitarist in the world, I'm not the best musician in the world, but it's, it's you know, I'm all right. <laughs> but it was fun. So I was like, oh man, that's so cool. I just thought that was awesome. Yeah. So in terms of some other changes and stuff, apparently there's like a new game pass for like a thousand pet slots or something, but I'm fairly happy like we're just emptying it every like 700. Uh, how much is it out of interest? Oh, spicy. Okay. So the only other change, which I think is actually amazing, <laughs> For me anyway is this lower one here which says disable easy legendary effects oh no that's not what i meant at all no okay i thought it was the sound effects it's not i guess it's the particle effects why would you want to do that because the game gives you an option doesn't it it says high quality or low quality and i think when you do the low quality for things like mobile devices it um it basically like lets you uh, like get rid of the particle effects. Oh, I thought it was the sound effects because I was thinking I could sit here and if I only pulled like a super rare legendary Then it would make a noise, but I don't think that's how it works Or well, maybe it is actually oh no wait look at this disable easy legendary sounds chat messages and effects. Oh Yeah, I think it is So I could pull like for example if this was in the last update with all of those shiny ser those diamond serpents it wouldn't show up in the chat box so I would only know if there's something in the chat if it was like a rare legendary. Ah, okay. I actually think that's really useful. That's super good for me because like I stand here. Wait, what? Why is it only opening one? Oh, did I only click one? Oops. <laughs> so yeah, that's really good for me because I can like sit here with the sounds muted and only when something cool pops up, it should make a noise. No, will that work? No, because all the sound effects are grouped together. Oh, I don't know. I'll look into it. Um, but yeah, okay. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to open up this bad boy. So it seems like there's three legendaries inside this Valentine's egg. Like a fairly common one, a not so common one, and a ridiculously rare one. Um, so I guess... Have I got my sounds off? I do. Why does the sound play then? That's so weird. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to sit here and we are going to open some eggs and we're going to see what we get. So it would be quite nice to maybe at least get, I don't know, one of these two. I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, let's actually buy these. Like, you don't need these by any means, but if you're super duper lazy like me, uh, then yeah, I'm going to go and grab them for this video. So we've got two hours, increased luck, two hours, faster egg hatching. Let's rock. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> So I thought we would get this, like, not-so-rare legendary fairly quickly. Um, and yeah, we got him. So this is, like, pretty much close to a 1% rate. So it's not going to be as common as the Diamond Serpent. But I think there's probably going to be quite a few of these. But if we can get 10 of them. It might be cool to make a shiny version. Uh, where is he? So you've got, like, Heartful Dragons and stuff. It's all sort of pink pets, which are kind of nifty. Um, where is he? Uh, 
Was he called? I think they were called lovebirds, were they? There they are. Hey! <laughs> oh, they're really cute. Okay, hang on. Let me unequip these pets. Let me show you. Look at that. Oh, they're adorable. Are you kidding? It's actually really nice. <laughs> so there's two little birdies, and they're kind of like together, and there's like this, this heart sort of animation. Huh. That's kind of nice, actually. I like that pet. So pretty decent. We've nearly got a thousand gem, nearly up to 300 block as default. Huh. Well, there we go. So yeah, this is the first one. Um, obviously, these next two are going to be super duper difficult to get. So I'm just going to stand here and I'm going to open them. And this may take some time, but I'll see you guys in the future. Whatever that may be. Let me go and clear these guys out. And off we go. Okie dokie, so yeah, a little update here as to how things are going. So, I think we've been opening for about an hour or so now. Uh, but yeah, from judging by the chat log, <laughs> seems to be a lot of lovebirds going on here, and no one else has pulled anything else apart from lovebirds. Um, good news is, though, is that we can actually make a shiny lovebird. Look at this, we've got 14 of these bad boys, so I've just done it. 3, 2, 1, boom, I was supposed to say. Um, where are you, lovebird? Hmm? Right. One, two, three. Where's my shiny lovebird? Hey. Hey. What does it look like? I don't even know what it looks like. So let's equip a regular one. And let's equip the... Oh, there it is. There it is. Boom. Oh, so 550 block. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. 550 block is... I think... Yeah, sort of around the ducky. So... Actually, might not be a bad one to have some shinies of. Oh, they're like, they've got little green wings. There you go. So the regular lovebird is pink, and these ones are like green. Hey, oh, I really like these pets, actually. I think they look really nice. Huh. Well, there we have it. So yeah, I think, like, I'm not opposed to replacing a few of those shiny serpents we've got with some shiny lovebirds. I think that would be quite a good thing to do. But yeah, I'm going to keep rolling. We've got, uh, how long have we got left on the boost? Oh, yeah, so we literally opened for exactly an hour. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got exactly an hour left with some boosts. Uh, I'm probably going to open these on and off pretty much most of the day. Um, I do got, I've got a Beast Swarm episode to make as well. So we'll see how things go. But so far, so good. We've got 14 Lovebirds. One of those we've just made into a shiny. Nothing rare yet, but you never know. Well, welcome back everyone. So I think at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that it was the 15th of February. Now... It is the 16th of February. I've been doing some egg opening and good news. Dun, dun, da! Oh yeah, that lovely marshmallow. Oh my goodness me. So I don't just have one lovely marshmallow. We got three of these bad boys. I've been opening sort of on and off now for quite a few hours, but I can do you one better. Check this out. Yeah, we got ourselves the Valentium as well. Oh my goodness. We've been super duper lucky. Are you kidding? <laughs> so yeah, check that out. We managed to get both of the legendaries. Now, I didn't actually think I was going to get the Valentium. So I have been like using these boosters sort of on and off. But this is still a 0.005% chance. And we haven't just got one. We got two of them. Look at that. We got two. Are you kidding? So check this out. This is what these look like. They look so cool. Got the lovely marshmallow. He's super duper cute. But, yeah, look at that bad boy. It's kind of just a big sparkly thing. But I love it. Apparently as well, there's also another secret pet inside here. And it's like one of those ridiculously rare ones. But it's huge. It's like this great big love heart type thing. It's like a pixelated love heart. I was really hoping we'd somehow manage to pull that. But once again, it's kind of the same story with the... um. Oh, what was the route? The, the toy robot thing? Uh, yeah, just ridiculously hard to get. So, you know, you might get... Some people might get them on, like, their first few goes. Some people will never get them. It's kind of just, you know, odds-based, I guess. But we got ourselves a pretty awesome team here. So, yeah, we've got three lovely marshmallows. And I'm most pleased with these guys, my, my Valentiums. I think they're just so cool looking. Um, so, basically, what we have to do now is we're just going to build, like, a nice team. Uh, with these guys and basically the lovely marshmallows they have a 965 base block uh, and the valentium where's the valentium where did you go oh there it is there it is boom so this has a 1250 base block which is pretty much like up there with the shiny duck this shiny duck is level two so it's got a little bit more blockage but um i think it looks cooler 
It definitely looks cool. It's got way more gems. See, look at this. The gems are 6,000, whereas, like, the duck, for example, is, like, 1,700. So the duck is more for, like, the toy world. This Valentium is kind of more for just the main world. Um... But yeah, they look amazing. So I'm super happy with that. Three lovely marshmallows, two Valentium. I've got so many lovebirds now. So I guess what I'm going to try and do is Evie. <laughs> I like the look. She doesn't like birds. She hates birds. When there's birds cheeping. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Bad times, man. But yeah, I've got a bunch of these shinies here. So basically what we're going to do, <laughs> Evie, is try and build like the best party that I think we can get right now. And I think in terms of in terms of like toy stuff, because I'm trying to save up for the 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 like the, the reward thing. Um so I think this is currently our best build. We've got two diamond overlords, two Valentium, uh three lovely marshmallows, and two penguins. Um and I think that's probably gonna be our best build for now. So what I'm kind of thinking is I'm kind of torn. Like, I really like doing these event eggs because they have some really awesome pets in. And I actually think that the Valentine's egg... So this is going to be running for a few more days still. Uh, but I actually think this probably got some of the coolest pets. Um, I really like this Valentium. It just it just glows. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, you can see slowly but surely here we're saving up towards... I think... I don't know how much it will be, actually. I imagine it might be somewhere around... She's playing with the squeaky toy again. You never play with this until I'm recording. Unbelievable scenes. It's like a squeaky Santa Claus. <laughs> but yeah, slowly but surely, we'll probably try and save that up. I haven't really been hitting too many toy chests. I've just been focusing on egg opening. But I do also want to start working on some of these headphones because it would be kind of cool to put some headphones on uh, some of these pets. So maybe if we can try and get some diamond ones. 0.02s. Uh, I haven't touched this one. Oh, yeah, but my wait. So this zero... Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, it's fine. I thought those ones were rarer than those ones, but there was an extra zero. It's all good. Uh, well, yeah, there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, Valentine's update. I think this is update 15. Some really, really awesome pets. I think the Valentium is one of my favorite pets, I think, of all time. They just look cool. But, yeah, the secret pet is amazing. It's like this giant heart. I wish we could get that, but who knows, man. I'm going to still open some more eggs. You never know. And yeah, I think that's going to be about it for today. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantigo!